Come on out. There's no one around. Oh, wow. Train tracks. Perfect. We can pretend we're trains, and I will be the conductor. Choo choo! <laughs> no, I'd make a better conductor. Choo choo choo! No, I would. Look! Choo choo! Choo choo! Choo choo! choo. Quit playing on the tracks, it's really dangerous. What if a train came? Hey, Unky, where do you think the tracks go? Isn't it obvious? To the other side. The earth is round. So cool! It's a big music swing! It's not a swing, it's a gate. You shouldn't be on the tracks now. A train is coming! Gary, it's not safe. Get out of there. You're right. Incoming! <laughs> eh? <laughs> we should ask Katie and Peter if they know where the tracks lead. <laughs> Lorian, it won't work like that. Put it down. <laughs> See what I mean? Trains go in a circle. <laughs> Real train tracks run from city to city. Choo -choo! Choo -choo -choo! Look how fast my train is going. No one can beat me. No, mine's faster. Take a look. I'm winning. Huh? I told you my train was the fastest. No, Chuck. You cheated. You broke the bridge on purpose. That's not cheating. <laughs> Come on, go apologize. Chuck, you know what you did was cheating. <clears throat> Emergency! Something happened to the real bridge. I didn't do it. <laughs> Look up there! A chunk of the cliff broke off and destroyed the bridge! There isn't time to fix it, so what do we do? <laughs> I know just what to do! Go, Chuck. Another train might be coming soon. We better fix it. Chuck, you take care of the support beams. Thor, we'll need four pits. Unky, you'll pack the gravel. Go, go, Turbozors!
Jerry. Jerry, I'm sorry I cheated. <sighs> it's okay, because I know that in real life, I'm the fastest! <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Bull, Jerry, Unky, Thor, and Chuck, your Turbosaurus friends. Now they are on funny stickers in fiber. Join our channel and share your emotions with your friends. <sighs> For an evenly distributed tan, expose your whole body. You're evenly blocking the whole sun. Nothing is being distributed on me but a bunch of sand. But how could I block out the sun? Chuck, please stop looking at the sun. Have you completely forgotten what happened the last time? What exactly happened last time? <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Good job burying yourself in the sand. Today would be great for swimming. Too bad we don't have a big diving board, though. If we swam here, we would need a rescue tower and a lifeguard in case someone needed help. Hey, guys, I'll be lifeguard. I'll climb the tower and keep lookout. Help me, help me. Fear not. There's no need to panic because... <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> it seems our lifeguard needs a lifeguard. <laughs> yeah, for your information, I always start rescues lying down. Ugh. It's settled. Let's work together and build two towers. One will be for diving, the other will be for rescuing. We need to do a really good job. That way people from the whole city could swim here. Mm -hmm. Then I better get ready to rescue them all. What should we use to build the towers? I say we build them out of stones and fallen trees. That way, we'll clean the forest, too. Go, go, Turbozords! Bull and Chuck, gather the stones. Thor and Unky, you'll gather the trees. Then we'll convert them into logs. Jerry? My job will be to make sure that everybody is working safely. Listen up! Who knows the most important part of both a rescue tower and a diving board? <laughs> the very most important part of a rescue tower is the lifeguard. Well done, Jerry. So then for a diving board, it has to be the diver. Not quite, Chuck. Huh. What is a diving board's most important part? Water! <laughs> <laughs> Attention swimmers, there's no swimming past the buoys, and no matter what, no one is allowed to sneeze. board is super high. Who's jumping first? Uh, right now I really need some exercise. Uh, same with me. <laughs> I'll show you what to do. Watch closely. And that's how it's done. We can do that too, you know. Right, Thor? Uh, right, Unky. But maybe Chuck should go before us, or Bull. But we're way too big. 
You guys ought to go first. There's nothing to fear because Jerry the lifeguard's here. Well, thank you, Jerry. I guess it's better than nothing. Unky, I need you to be sure to let me know when we get to the top. I'm going to keep my eyes closed. I closed my eyes at first, too, but then I remembered that we're powerful turbosaurs. Right, Thor? Uh, uh, you're right. It's not that bad with your eyes open. Come down. You don't have to jump. But we turbosaurs are not afraid of anything. Uh -huh. Just count to three for us. And one, two, two three! three. Guess what, guys? I filmed it all! That was totally amazing! Aw, oh, I'm glad they're safe, but I really wanted to rescue someone. It's a pity that none of us need help with swimming. Climbing might tire us out, and if so... Then I can save you, right? I'm heading out to the store. You kids keep an eye on Florian while I'm gone. I think he wants to go to the beach. Yeah, we all had a great time there. Mm hmm. It's too bad the beach is so far away. We can't go. I wish we could. Sorry, Florian. No beach today. Even though we can't go, what if we bring the beach here? And how would we do that? Well, first we would need a lot of sand. Check out all this sand! Now all we gotta do is figure out how to get it to Grandma's house. Piece of cake. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> Where to? Um... Never fear! You're talking to the world's best surveillance dino! Let's go! I think that's enough sand. Let's head home. Thor, <laughs> let's dig here! What do you think, Florian? I'm not sure Grandma's gonna be wild about this pile of dirt. I have an idea. Let's turn this into something your grandma would like. wanted a flower bed. Huh? Now all it needs is some flowers. <sighs> Welcome to the beach, Florian. I don't understand. Why are you still crying? I know. The sea. Beaches aren't beaches without it. <laughs> Too bad there's no river here. Maybe not, but we can make do. Thor, can you dig a hole right here? No problem. Easy. Little to the left. Bingo! Oh, thanks. I didn't realize you were the digging expert. I 
guess the ground is thirsty. How can we waterproof this? We'd need a pool or something. Yeah, too bad you don't have a big square trailer. One that's exactly the same size as the hole you just dug. But what do I know? You're right. We can just use the trailer. Jerry, you're the best. Ha! Come on, guys. Let's set the trailer right in the pit. Uh, yeah. huh? That's some beach. Huh? Huh? That's Grandma's bus. Hide, guys! Uh. Hi, Hi Grandma. Grandma! Hello, dears. What in the world? I've always wanted a massive flower bed like this. Right now, it's just dirt. It needs flowers. That's not all that's new over here. Check it out! Florian wanted his own private beach. What busy little bees. How did you manage these things? I think someone deserves a treat. Here we go. Ice cream bars. I picked them up at the store. Thanks a bunch, Grandma. <laughs> what? I think he's saying he wants to share his ice cream bar with our dinosaur friends. Right? <laughs> Great idea, Florian. Hmm. Without them, we couldn't have made our private beach today. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Chuck! May I present a picture from all of us? This time, it's not just a selfie, it's a groupie! <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Blow out the candle. But before that, you get to make a wish. I do? And then will I get it? Birthday wishes always come true. <laughs> I wish I could learn how to ride on a skateboard. Huh? Just throw the skateboard in front of you, jump on, and then you're riding around. Voila! <laughs> Just throw the skateboard in front of you, and then you can jump on and ride around. <laughs> Chuck sure has an unusual riding style. <laughs> Chuck, let's try this slowly and carefully. So, how do you think I'm doing, Coach? You're doing very well. If only we had a bigger board. Hang on, that gives me an idea. will be easier to learn on this. But please be careful not to break it. We'd never hear the end of it from my grandma. Hmm, I've got it. Let's all build a track especially for Chuck. Hooray! Let's build a track for Chuck. Track for Chuck, track for Chuck, track for Chuck. <laughs> this is where we'll build the track. I'll clear away the sand, Thor will break the stones, Unky will load and unload, and Chuck, you will build the fence. The challenge is clear. Go, go, Turbozords!
think it's time to try out this track. Where'd she go? Hey, wait for me! The track for Chuck is ready. <sighs> ready and really dusty. Uh, 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 Come on, Chuck. Don't be afraid. <clears throat> you can do this, Chuck. <laughs> 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 He flips, he turns, and he sticks the landing! Hooray! I can't thank you enough. I always wanted to be a skateboarder. And you made my birthday wish come true. <laughs> wow, eh? look at that. The beauty of it. Incredible. Well done. <laughs> Just so that you're all aware, my birthday is also coming up soon. And it only makes sense to start coming up with my wishes now. But what do I want? A little pony, a big car, maybe a little... Grandma, are you ready to pick the mushrooms? And berries, too? <laughs> you two go on without me. I fear I'm a bit too tired for an adventure today. <laughs> but it looks like the little one's all ready to go. <laughs> Peter, why don't we deliver the mushrooms and berries we pick to the people in town? Because most of them don't have time to go to the woods. Great idea. And why don't we ask the Turbozors for help? Let's go! Fantastic. You can count on the Turbozors all the way. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then let's go pick some mushrooms and berries. Can you believe it? There's enough to feed the whole city. Check out this cool-looking mushroom I found. I wanted to eat it, but of course I didn't because it's not for me. First of all, Jerry, the fly agaric is not for eating. And second, we need to build a warehouse to store and keep our harvest safe. Good idea, Bull. But first, I think we should make a building plan. This will be the conveyor belt. This will be for packaging, and this will be for loading. Everyone clear? All clear. This is where you all come in. We're going to need logs, rocks, and tree branches. Chuck and I will build the foundation. <laughs> Thor and Unky, you build the walls and the roof. Uh -huh. <sighs> go, go! Turbozors! And in the meantime, we'll keep watch over the mushrooms so that no one even thinks about eating them. Very impressive warehouse, everyone. And now, we can move on to packaging, and before you know it, we'll be ready for delivery. 
But how will we get them to everyone in town? Not to worry, Katie. That's a task for Jerry and Joe. Enough already! How will we carry them all? I said that's too many! What are you thinking? You can't be serious, Jerry. The baskets need to be filled to the brim. Yes, but I'm the one who has to fly to town and carry that heavy load. Let's see who gets there first. Good luck, guys! We believe in you! La 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 Ha! It looks like I'm way ahead of Joe. Plenty of time to rest for a refreshment. What happened, Jerry? Do you need help? Oh, no, no! I'm just checking to make sure that none of these mushrooms are the fly agaric! But you know that the fly agaric is red with white polka dots. Now, Catch up. Uh, so much for being ahead. Uh, 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 wait, wait for me! Mushrooms and berries? From the woods? Oh, what a nice surprise. Thank you. Ah. Huh. Shoo, shoo! Don't you know I'm in a rush? Huh? Yeah. You're welcome. <sighs> it's a miracle. It's raining mushrooms. That's no miracle. It's the fast and reliable delivery of forest gifts from me to you. Enjoy yourself. I've got to rush to get home before Joe does. Thank you, Joe. I confess, I was rushing to beat you home. And look what happened. No one loves to race more than I do, but sometimes it's better if you take your time. When you do a job, don't rush and make sure you do everything carefully and correctly. Now, let's go home. Who knows? Is someone gonna go find the ball? I can't. I'm busy being the best goalie. Women always get the job done. Uh. Uh. Huh? Hey there, who are you? Toby, <laughs> dear boy, come back! There's a human in the woods. He's coming. Turbozor team, hi! Good afternoon, <laughs> Mr. Charlie. Hello there, children. <laughs> Cars out here in the woods? That's odd. What are you kids up to out here? Just helping my sister learn soccer. Toby, here boy. Nothing to see here but a bunch of junk. <laughs> Talk back to me, boy. You're going to the vet today. And I don't want to hear any more sass from you about it. Okay, all clear. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? The old man called Joe Junk, but I think the dog kind of likes her. Mm -hmm. 
While I'm certainly not junk, how many Sarophilus do you know who can turn into convertibles? While we're on the subject of being great, how impressed was the dog with my wingspan? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Already? Where's Toby? He's gone. Gone? Chased after a motorcycle, it slipped his leash. I look for him everywhere. But I guess he couldn't hear me call him. We've got to go bring Toby back. Of course we'll help get his dog back. We'll do whatever we can. Do you have any ideas, Thor? Well, downtown's a really big place. We should split up to increase our chances of finding this dog. Good plan. Go, go, Turbo Thors! for the poor thing. All alone in the big city, he could be miles away. <gasps> could it be? That's him for sure. Must have fallen down somehow. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. Bonky, bring the pipe out of the ground. Chuck, you'll be in charge of grabbing Toby. As for Joe, we'll need those headlights to see what we're doing. Turbicars, move out. Everyone was given a job to do but me. I could have come up with a good plan, too. Be careful. Careful with those giant hands. <laughs> now there's something that history books won't tell you. Dogs love dinosaurs. <laughs> 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 Just when I thought I was rid of all my caterpillars. Oh, the horror. Your caterpillars are eating all my raspberries. <sighs> and what makes you think that these are my caterpillars? <laughs> Because you just said you thought you were rid of your caterpillars. Uh -oh. Okay, kids. I need you to run to the store to get a remedy for the caterpillars. While I take a little... <gasps> nap. <laughs> Can you imagine all those caterpillars taking over like that? And then the neighbor jumps in and screams, Oh, the horror! Oh, the horror! So you're saying the caterpillars are scary, but the neighbor's an even bigger uh -huh. horror? Can you imagine? There's a caterpillar curse. Not to worry. We heard all about it from Jerry. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hop in. We'll go to the store to get a remedy for the caterpillars. I think maybe I'll join you. Hooray! 
Hey, we're off to get the remedy. That gives me an idea. <clears throat> Oh! Are we here already? Where's the store? I think maybe I'm due for a paint job. Red is totally in. Are you trying to drench me in every pool of water we pass? No, I think that blue is more my color. My mommy always told me I shouldn't remove anything from our world. It's very dangerous, you know. But there's no danger here. Besides, this is the best thing in any world to get rid of those pesky caterpillars. I think it needs water. Crazy dream. Can you imagine? There's, there's this enormous. What? Not the caterpillars again. The other remedy ate the fence. What other remedy, Unky? <laughs> You must really be hungry. And get a load of the angle on this one. Now that's what I call talent. That plant is a predator. For people in this world, it is very dangerous. We must dig it up and take it back immediately. Go, go, Turbozors! Chuck, you hold him by the branches. Hunky, you hook him and wrestle him to the ground. Thor, you dig up the roots. Nothing is impossible! We have to save the little one! Jerry! Make sure this plant gets put back where it belongs. Uh -huh. We need to stay here and mend the fence before Grandma wakes up. <laughs> uh, uh. Joe, you're up. Ah. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Unky, now it's your turn. Uh, uh, hmm. Nice try. Maybe next time around. Uh. You wouldn't even let me compete because it would be unfair. 
I would soar. I would soar, soar, I tell you! That's why you can't. <laughs> Joe is in the lead. Her jump was the farthest. And most graceful. Your turn, Chuck. Uh, uh, Chuck, where are you going? You gonna jump? If I'm going to beat Joe, I'm gonna need a running start. I think we should get out of the way for safety. That sure is something else. A new record! Chuck, are you okay? <laughs> totally okay. I only got hurt once when I was a hatchling. I was young. <laughs> that was a great jump, Chuck! You look like a pterodactyl soaring through the air! That competition was so fun! <laughs> We're doomed! We're doomed! Think back. Where could you have lost the medallion? I don't know. I had it this morning. This is serious. We're going to need our friend's help. Jer, call Katie and Peter. And we'll continue the search mm -hmm. here. Thor, Unky, wake up. Uh, uh, huh? Thor, check out the other end of the clearing. Chuck, your height will help us see everything from above. Uh, Double time, let's go. Uh, Peter, uh, Katie, emergency. It's horrible. We really need your help. Chuck went and lost his medallion. What are we gonna do? Lost his medallion? Big deal. I lose my hair ties, bracelets, and bows all the time. Yeah. Let's make a new medallion. I wish it were that simple. Follow me! Each of our medallions are keys that allow us to open the base. Anyone who doesn't have a medallion will be unable to get in. And Chuck lost his medallion! What are we gonna do? He can't go in after them? I don't get it. Chuck, show them. We can't leave him here all alone outside at night. And we don't abandon our friends when they're in trouble. Besides, no human can see him. That'd be horrible. Every problem has a solution. I've got a plan. First, we'll disguise Chuck. Then the others will go to the base. We'll figure out the rest tomorrow. I hope this won't hurt. We'll need lots of stones, branches, and twigs. We can find all of them in the woods. Go, go, Turbo Swords! Go sit down under the tree. Let's build that disguise. And now, the finishing touches. Heads up. Now we all head home. Tomorrow, we'll figure out what to do. Chuck, stay still. <sighs> well, it's morning. You think of anything? Not yet. Mm, you? Me neither. And what is that? Huh? Oh. Grandma always told us sleep solves everything. <laughs> but where? Where did you find it? All of us looked everywhere. It turns out Florian found it. <laughs> and took it home in his backpack. Huh? Wow, look at that. Where's Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> Chuck! <laughs> Hold on to that. Try not to lose it. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Because of you, I slept like a log. <laughs> 50 
59. Ready or not, here I come. I see Peter. Oh. And Boris. Huh? <laughs> and now I know where Bruno is. But that's not fair. If I hadn't sneezed, I could have stayed up there a year before you found me. Oh, come on. When I'm it, the tree is the first place I look. That's because there's nowhere else to hide in the yard. If we played in the woods, I could hide anywhere. You know Aunt Nora won't let us play in the woods. There's nothing wrong with right here. Peter, you're it. One, two, three, four, five. I don't understand. How far could he go? He could have gone into the woods. Remember, he said he could hide anywhere in there. Well, I'm not afraid. It's a piece of cake. Boris, are you sure that you want to go in there by yourself? He's my brother, and I'm going to find him. Somebody help me. Ah! <laughs> uh? go in there alone. We have to do something. And we will, with the Turbozor's help. You've never looked better. <laughs> Guys, huh? we really need your help. Our friends are lost in the woods. Now don't you panic. Jerry flies to the rescue! Well, I didn't know the woods would be such a big place. I'm tired and so hungry. You're not the only one. Oh. So thirsty, too. And I don't know if anyone's ever gonna find us. I found them. But it's not going to be easy to get to them because on one side is the marsh, and on the other, the gorge. We'll find a way over the gorge. Wow, that is a big gorge. What do we do? You always say that nothing's impossible, so there must be a way over. You see that fallen tree? We're going to turn it into a bridge and get to the other side. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> Thor, you prepare the ground so we can build a bridge. Unky, you go get the tree and hand it over to Chuck. And Chuck, get that tree to the other side of the gorge. I've been working out a lot lately. And how are we going to get across now? I have an idea. What if we build a full-fledged bridge, just like this? Even better, we'll build the bridge on stilts. A bridge, a bridge on, on stilts? stilts. What's, What's better, better than, than that? that? Jerry and Chuck, go look for more tree trunks. Bull, bring those trunks over here. Thor, go get some more ground ready so we can build our bridge. <laughs> How will we know that it's safe to go across? You just let Chuck take care of that. Now we need planks for the bridge itself. Unky, pass the logs to Chuck. He'll cut them into boards and we'll make ourselves a bridge. Don't wake them up. I have an idea. But we're gonna need a sturdy car. <sighs> What's keeping
keeping the boys? It's so late. Where have they gone off to? Have you seen the boys? Nothing to worry about. They were hiding, and we searched and searched, and eventually, we found them. Bruno, Boris, you can't sleep on the ground. You'll catch a cold. Where's the swamp? And where's the terrible forest? Uh, just a dream. Let's go. The cake is ready. And bring your friends, because friends are very important. Well, hello there, kids. You two look like you just had a wonderful time. We were in an amusement park, and it's called Jungle World. Uh-huh, and everything looks just like the jungle. They even have mechanical elephants and tigers. That gives me an idea. We could build our very own amusement park with dinosaurs, and we could call it Dinosaur World. The idea, of course, is a good one. But where on earth are we going to find mechanical dinosaurs? We don't need mechanical dinosaurs when we've got real dinosaurs right here! <laughs> <laughs> For the construction, we can gather boards from the old barn. Here at the entrance, all of the visitors will be happily greeted by... Chuck! Don't you think I should be at the entrance? Because obviously, I have the most charming smile. Uh -huh. eh? Wait a minute. I think that my smile is pretty charming. <laughs> Stop arguing. I will stand at the entrance. After all, I'm the most polite. Uh, thank you for coming, and I hope you have a nice day. Uh, uh. Is that what you call polite? I can be a hundred times more polite than that. You're welcome, please. And have a pleasant evening. Uh, uh. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, and it's very lovely to meet you. Uh. 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 Hunky, Thor, uh. we're going to build a giant park. There will be space for everyone. The two of you are so polite, you nearly tore each other apart. I'm the one who should stand at the entrance. After all, I'm the most beautiful. Let's do this. Chuck and Unky, you can build the path and the bridge. Thor and I will work on the cave. Go, go, Turbozord! Today is the grand opening of the Dinosaur World Park, open to all. Please do not feed the dinosaurs as they are mechanical. <laughs> I wonder, who do they think is going to try to feed a mechanical dinosaur? Absurd! Let me remind you that when the guests arrive, we are mechanical dinosaurs, just like a robot. And you, Thor, try not to eat anything. Robots don't eat. What are you looking at me for? I already ate a big lunch and everything. All right then, everything is set. Peter, Katie, open the gates to our park. Welcome to our park. It's Dinosaur World. Hmm? Huh. Now, millions of years ago, dinosaurs inhabited our land, and they were enormous creatures, and... And they would eat whatever they wanted. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, but these dinosaurs in the park, they're not the dangerous kind, right? There's no need to be afraid of mechanical dinosaurs. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, will you look at that? That's a funny bird. Actually, that's not a bird. It's a pterodactyl. Did he call me a funny bird? I've never been so insulted in my life! Take this, you 
mechanical uh, bully. I don't get it. I've been practicing, and that was my most charming smile. You told me that you had lunch. I did have lunch. Only ice cream isn't lunch. It's, uh, well, it's ice cream. 